To ascertain whether your operations are on the departure approach for the airport, simply place two fingers on the screen at the same time to bring up a distance and bearing ruler. We can see here that we have a direction of 096 degrees from the airport at two nautical miles. To get a more accurate value, you might need to use the satellite map. On the satellite map, the same process, two fingers on the screen, join your user waypoint and the nearest threshold of the runway. We can see here that we have a more accurate value of 106 degrees from the airport at 1.5 nautical miles. To find the airport information, single tap on the airport, select airports, this populates a list of all the nearby airports which have information in URSA, en route supplement Australia. In this case we're interested in Dubbo, swipe for charts and a runway diagram appears. We can see here we have runways 05 and 23 and runways 11 and 29. Runway 05 points towards 050 degrees and runway 23 points towards 230 degrees. The runway numbers are rounded up or down to the nearest 10. If you find your operations are close to the departure approach, scroll down to physical characteristics and we can see here that runway 05 has a physical surveyed direction of 043 degrees and runway 11 has a physical surveyed direction of 108 degrees. We found ourselves at 106 degrees from the airport, which is definitely on the approach or departure path for runway 1129. The departure approach path includes a 15 degree splay. That is seven and a half degrees either side of the runway center line. If you find your operations within this area, you will require further CASA approval for your operations. If your user waypoint is outside this area, you can operate as per the procedure within your operational documentation.